Welcome back to the best and funniest channel on YouTube. I know you guys have been waiting for a new video to come out, so here it is. Today, we are discussing the ultimate douchebag of YouTube. Streaming in general and just any type of content creation, we are talking about Jack Daughtery. Now, this guy is quite literally the biggest douchebag of all time. I don't think you can get any more douchier than him. I don't think you can get any worse than him. He sucks. Now, if you've never seen this man or his content before, I'm giving you a warning now to click away from the video so you can save yourself from having to see it. If you still want to subject yourself to having to see it, essentially what this guy does is he's kind of a mix of, think, morgues and rice gum, where he has the douchebagginess of rice gum, but the fake prank and just bad acting aspect of morgues. All in all, he's just like the worst combination you could ever be for a YouTuber. My friend Camila hates messes, and she just bought a $10 million mansion. So today, I'm gonna destroy her new house to see how she reacts. As you can see what I mean, that right there is prime 2017 morgues level acting. And you know the shit's about to be fake as fuck whenever they're one, talking in that YouTuber accent, and two, go around with all the camera angles and everything like that. If that was a genuine prank, you're not getting that much camera angles. And you're also not being like, my roommate just bought a mansion for $10 million. Let's go trash it. Even on top of that, say the prank was real, say everything about this was real. What kind of fucking prank is that? Yeah, my roommate bought a $10 million mansion. She hates messes, so to prank her, we're gonna ruin her house. Excellent prank, Jack. But first I had to trick her into leaving the house. Camila, can you go pick up Chick-fil-A for me? I know. I'll pay. <laughs> Perfect. Me and my girlfriend immediately started tearing up the whole entire house. Yo, McKinley, no! That's too far. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is bad. She's gonna kill us. Jack McKinley, I'm back. What the f Jack McKin McKinley, I literally leave for 15 minutes. You're fucking lying, Jack. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm going. Sorry. Oh, pick up the fing crate like you ruined my kitchen. Hey, at least you don't have to clean it up. And I'm using your goddamn Amex to clean it up. Wait, 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 hey! As you can see, real bottom of the barrel stuff in terms of acting here. Really guys, I cannot leave you alone for 15 minutes without you making a mess. Come on! I feel like they could have done way better with the acting than that. Even like knowing it's not obviously a fake thing. Show some anger, show some aggression. Like your house is legitimately messed up to a point. Like regardless of if you knew it was gonna happen or not, be at least mildly upset that you're gonna have to clean that up and put it into some genuinely good acting for God's sakes. Neon, what the? Huh? Let's go bare knuckles right now. I saw you. Bro, you're scared. Bryce! I miss you, bro. bro I miss you. He's literally gonna fight me or me off. Are you kidding me? Let's run it right now. Swing first. Swing first. Are you kidding me? Swing first. I'm not gonna feed the little nigga attention, bro. I could not imagine having to be in that crowd and having to be around both Neon and Jack Daughtery. I think that would actually make me blow my brains out. It's literally the two most insufferable people you know in the same room, and not only in the same room trying to fucking fight each other and talking shit as if they know how to fight and as if they're tough people. You have these insufferable douchebags in the same room. You have these insufferable douchebags who think they're tough and you have these insufferable douchebags who think they're tough and are now going to do a bare knuckle fight. What a fucking world. <laughs> In terms of what I know about Jack Daughtery, I know he's a mega douchebag, I know he fakes his videos, and then the other thing I know is that he likes to start fights with people, and then pussies out and makes his big ass security guards deal with it for him. And that's what you saw there. There's many more examples of stuff like that happening, I just provided one. I also think it's a good like example just to show his douchiness. He intentionally goes and shoulder checks somebody then pussies out when they confront him and gets his security guard and somehow still has the audacity and trying to sit there and talk tough. Yeah, yeah, what are you gonna do? You're hiding behind a ginormous fucking man. Like, what are you gonna do, Jack? How old are you? 19. How long have you been on YouTube for? Seven years. That's your Lamborghini? Yeah. That's your McLaren? Good fucking shit, dog. What yeah. kind of content yeah. do you do? Prank challenges, stuff like that. Fire, do you do real pranks or fake pranks? Be honest, they're, they're fake as yeah. Be honest, your pranks are fake. I had enough balls to say it. You're 19, own your 
I said some of them aren't. Some of them aren't. No, which ones are real? Show me a real prank right now. Not <laughs> Why one you that you my prank? Money. It's not that deep. It is that deep. Because you're trying to stand on something that's not true. You're trying to build your business on a lie. On that clip, former or maybe still current YouTuber, FoozyTube, I don't know if he still makes stuff. All I know is he went cuckoo a while ago. He's saying there, telling Jack that his pranks are fake because obviously they're fake. The man is 19, this is a grown man. I didn't even know he's a grown man up until now. I thought he was still like a child. Um, he's a grown fucking man and he doesn't own up to the fact that his pranks are fake. They're so obviously fake because the acting is curated horribly. And even if the prank was real, it's just not a realistic prank. I think you it shows you have a real problem both with your personal self and your content creation if Fousey Tube is the voice of reason for you. Especially because, like that man says, he faked his pranks. He faked his content. That's why that motherfucker was doing it back in the day. That's why that motherfucker was gone for a minute. Because he built his shit off basis of lies. If anyone's gonna know, it's gonna be Fousey. The thing that upsets me the most in that clip is Fousey, knowing how it goes when you make that fake content, knowing the career that no matter what, if you make fake content, you're gonna go down. He's trying to help that motherfucker out and he has the audacity to sit there and tell him it's not that deep. This is why no one likes you, Jack Daughtery. Because you think nothing is that deep when it is. Faking your content is that deep. Claiming your content is real when it is fake is that deep. It is borderline illegal to do. As a content creator, you could not do that. So when you add that on top of the palenter of you already being a douchebag, you just become the most insufferable person to exist and it's not anyone's fault other than his own if you're a douchebag that's just how you are you're a douchebag and unfortunately for him he is stuck in that 2017 hype beast douchebag phase he, the way he talks the way he acts the things he flexes it's literally like how jake paul or rice gum would be flexing their Lam lambos back in the day would be flexing their rolexes he's not out of that clout era yet and for a 19 year old to still be in the clout era is fucking insane. I don't really have much more to say that you're not probably thinking about him already though. So that's where I'm gonna leave it off. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys forgive me for having to force you to see and witness Jack Daugherty content. If you can accept my apology for that, I'll see you guys in the next video.